In this video tutorial, we will show you how to prepare, install, and configure the FM TCO4 LCV GPS tracking device from Ruptella so that it would read vehicle CAN bus data. To receive CAN bus data from a light vehicle, you will need the FM TCO4 LCV GPS tracking device and EasyCAN accessory, which allows to connect to CAN bus without cutting any wires and without violating vehicle's warranty. In a standard device package from Ruptella, you will find three main components inside. GPS tracking device, GPS GLONASS antenna and connectors with wires. To make the installation easier, we will also use an Easy Wires accessory. EasyCAN can come as free wires, that is without a box and a connector, or it can be ready to use with Easy Wires like we have now. We will connect it to the device wires later. If a device was pre-ordered with a SIM card, it will already be inside the device. Otherwise, you will have to insert your own SIM card that is active and has the ability to transfer data. Let's check if the SIM card is inside. We can see that this device does not have the SIM card, so we need to insert it. The main and only website for getting all the documentation and tools is doc.ruptella.lt. First of all, we need to download the newest firmware and configurator pack. Next step is to check if the vehicle is on a CAN bus supported vehicles list. In this video, we are going to install the GPS tracking device to a Volkswagen Golf. If you are not sure how to connect it to a CAN bus, please send a request to the Reptella support team by email at support at reptella.lt and ask for a CAN bus installation instruction for a specific vehicle from the list. Don't forget to specify vehicle manufacturer, model, year, and engine. Once you receive the instruction, please read it carefully. We would also recommend to print it and take it with you to the actual installation place. Before the device configuration, you need to download its driver and install it. Download the driver file, unzip it, and run installer according to your operating system, either 32 or 64 bits. When drivers are installed, you can connect the device to a computer using USB to mini USB cable that is suitable for the data transfer. Some cables are made only for charging so they will not work.
When the device is connected to a computer, you need to open a configurator. Select COM port and press connect. The device might be already pre-configured if this was requested. Click on Get CFG to check the current device configuration. We can see that this device has not been configured, so we will do it from the very beginning. We will use one of the functions Configuration Wizard, which makes the configuration very easy for the first time. Select device that you are going to use. In this case, FM TC04 LCV. Press Next. Enter IP and the port of server that you are going to use. We will use TrustTrack platform, so I will enter its credentials. Click Next. Enter the SIM card APM settings. Click Next. Select Ignition Detection Method. We recommend to use DIN 4. Click Next. Select coefficients for data collection when ignition is off and on. Usually, default values are fine, so we can continue with them. Click Next. There is no additional fuel level sensor installed in this car, so click Next. Select CAN interface to which you are going to connect Easy CAN. Let's select CAN 1. Now select a vehicle that you are going to connect to by clicking the question mark and finding a vehicle in the list. Click Select and Finish. We have just created the configuration. Next step is to upload it to the device. While the device is connected via USB cable, click Send CFG. Once the upload is over, the device is ready to use. Click Battery Off and Disconnect Device from Mini USB Cable. If you are going to use other platform than TrustTrack, please skip this step and contact your platform provider for instructions from software side. When you log into TrustTrack Admin, press Clients and then click Create New Client. Enter company credentials and press Save. After a client is created, Press SIM cards and create new SIM card. Lines that are marked with a red star are mandatory. Fill them in. After a client and the SIM card are created, we can create an object. Press objects and create new object. Select Client from drop-down list. Enter Object Name. Enter Short Description. Select Phone Number. SIM Card. Enter Device IMA. Your device model is available by clicking on the Hardware list. Double check if the correct payment plan is selected. To have a full functionality, you need to use TrustTrack 2 Premium Payment Plan. Click Create. Final step is to create a web user. Click on Web Users and create new web user. Select Client from dropdown. 
Enter client name. Enter login and password that will be used to access this web user and click Create. Now we can go to the installation place. Here are all the tools that will be used for this installation. Remove needed plastic parts to reach the installation place shown in the CAN installation instruction. In this Volkswagen Golf, the installation place is at the driver's side, under the steering wheel. According to the received instruction, we can connect power supply and ignition at OBD2 socket, so we need to find the socket and take it out. Now find the pin 4 at the OBD2 connector. It's ground. Take the 12-pin easy wire connector, find the ground cable and connect it with the OBD2 pin 4. Now find a power supply cable in OBD2. It's pin 16. Find FM TCO4 LCV power supply cable and join wires. The last wire that we need to connect to OBD2 is ignition wire. It's pin 1. Connect it to a digital input 4 in the FM TCO4 LCV device. Please check instruction for other vehicles, as the places for power supply and ignition connection might be different. Take the 14-pin Easy Wires connector and connect it to Easy Can. It needs to be connected to one wire power supply and CAN 1. Find CAN cables in the vehicle. For this vehicle, it's orange-brown as CAN low and orange-black as CAN high twisted pair of wires. Untwist these wires so you could connect Easy Can. The place of wires matters. CAN high is always next to closing clips. Securely close Easy Can when wires are in right places. Unpack GPS antenna and connect it to a device. Plug both connectors and see LED indicators to make sure that device is powered, GPS and network statuses are correct. GPS and network statuses are correct. Now find a place for a GPS antenna. Try to install it as close as possible to the window, panel top. No metal parts or big wire harness can be on the top of a GPS antenna. Securely stick it with a sticker on the antenna bottom. Find a place to secure the device and do this using zip ties. Collect remaining wires and put them in a free place. To check if you are receiving CAN data, you will need a computer with a mobile internet. Start a car and let at least few records to reach the system. Log in to your web used and download the Excel file of raw data.
check the inputs named CAN and see if values are there. If no CAN values are visible, or you have tried a vehicle that is not in the list and did not know what LCV program to select, you can find it out using SMS message ICV Select. A detailed message structure is described in the SMS commands list. To make detection process easier, it contains mileage and RPMs. Process might take up to five minutes to complete. When device is installed and we have confirmation that all needed data is coming, all plastics can be put back and installation is over. Now go to an object settings and check settings. Here you can edit the object name or add more details about the vehicle. Check if an ignition connection comes from a needed source. Also, check if CAN parameters are enabled and set up in a template. We can see that all the needed parameters are set correctly. Take note that CAN parameters are coming in raw values and need recalculations, which in this particular case have already been made because the selected template has saved them. Save object changes and go back to web user to see the coming data. Here we can see that device is sending CAN bus data from vehicle and it means that installation was done correctly.